Who are you? Who, me? Um, uh, I just came in to use the telephone. See, I told you so, I told you so. I told you Daddy was living with a lot of men. I don't even know what a man looks like. And where have you been? Your uncle's been worried sick because you didn't come home. I couldn't come home. We didn't want to say anything, Mr. Coburn, but she got kind of fly eyes. I did they stabbed me, and they wanted me to be a corpse, and they poisoned me, and I was unconscious. When I came to, there were 20 policemen in the room, and I brought ketchup balls in my front, and then they tried to drown me. I don't think they like me. Oh, we're crazy about her, Mr. Coburn. So, this is the bath crazy idiot from Bellevue, is it? And these are the two keepers, are they? Daddy, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Daddy, you mustn't get so excited. I'm not excited. Now don't shout to him. Just be very quiet. Gregory never obeyed me. What? I told you so. I told you so. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy's confused, Mr. Coburn. I'm the one that's going to have the baby. Have a cigar. No, thank you. I don't want a cigar. All I want is that my daughter to get out of this place. Daddy, go get your things immediately. <laughs> Don't cry, Dottie. We'll, we'll see each other again, honest we will. Oh, that is clear across the world, and we still all know it. The world's getting smaller all the time, honey. Now, you just keep thinking of that. Let's get started. Muriel, aren't you ready? Mr. Coleman, I can't go now. I'm all wet. Absolutely right, Miss Forster. Absolutely you right. You just leave it with us, Mr. Coleman. We'll take care of her. Thank you. Come on, Dottie. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Dottie. Goodbye, Dottie. Thanks we'll for everything, Dottie. Well, honey. Give our regards to Hopesville. Come on, Dottie. I've got something very important to tell you, Mama. Even if it makes you mad at me. Dottie, come on. I love you, Norma. I always have loved you, Norma. Sure is a dumb little kid, isn't she? She must be. The spirit says the one who saw the murder shall rise and walk slowly toward that worm and lick the daylight out of her. A good idea. This is for Norman. This is for Dottie. How do you do? How do you do? I am Phillips, Mr. Kenny's man. Oh, yes, I remember you. Uh, this is uh, Phillips, Mr. Kenny's man. Oh, hello, Mr. Phillips. Mr. Kenny have a message for us? Yes, Mr. Kenny wants you all down in his apartment in half an hour. He does? How'd he say it? Yes, when he said it, was he mad or was he glad? I'm sure I do not analyze Mr. Kenny's inflections and cadences in half an hour, if you please. Well, yes, sir, we'll be there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder what he wants. His man didn't sound very enthusiastic. Oh, people's men never sound enthusiastic. That's why they're people's men instead of people. Well, what the heck? Let's go down and find out. We can't be in any worse shape than we are now. You said it. I like you. 